So I'm on the internet, and I'm reading up on Kim Davis, and I'm trying to read, and the New York Times website is just spraying, spraying, constantly spraying little sound bites and little ads. It's just... Bleh, 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 bleh. I have to mute my computer to even read an article. And then it reminded me of all the trade partnership, TPP, all this global regulatory crap that they're ramming down our throats and nobody's allowed to have any rights and they're going to take the internet and they're going to have the fast lanes for people like the, the, the times and they're going to have the slow lane for everybody else. And it just dawned on me, you know, it's like everything has to be focused on them spraying you constantly with their filthy propaganda. You used to be able to at least read a newspaper without having the ad, like, maneuver itself in your way. Like, when you open some of these sites, the ad just pops up and sits there, and you got to hunt around for the button to even close the things. Like, how badly do I have to let you know that I don't want to listen to your stupid ad and I don't want to buy your crap? But yet they're not going to allow that. They're going to shut that down. They're going to forbid you <laughs> to look at anything by making all of the internet fast lanes belong to the big corporations and everything else is just slowly going to wither and die because you won't be able to get any bandwidth through it and so people won't watch it. So much manipulation, so much control. This is how you wake up one day and you find out you don't even have a right to get married like a civilized human being. That if you want to get married, you got to go, you know, either not have any laws about it at all or else go beg somebody to treat you mildly differently from a gay couple who's never going to have children. Do parents have any rights to their children anymore? Do children have any rights to parents anymore? There is a father who has been thrown in jail for taking his child out of a sex ed class that was promoting homosexuality to children. In jail. He's in jail. He's not in jail now, but he was put in jail. This is how far they've gone. And they convince you of this by constantly bombarding you with their filthy messages. You need to unplug, folks. And I hate to say it, but the Internet is soon going to become something... I guess there'll be an undernet. Just just always just go to the places that are low bandwidth. Just ignore all the high bandwidth crap and go to the low bandwidth places. You gotta tell them no. You gotta unplug. You gotta quit paying attention to them. That's the only cure. And it's actually not that hard. I don't even have a television anymore. Just unplug. Just shut them down. And you know another thing? I say this all the time. Take your money out of the bank. Take your money out of the bank, Kate the tiniest little bit in a checking account if you absolutely must and feed cash into it when you need to pay your bills. But get your money out of the banks. That's the biggest tool they have is they take your money, multiply it times 10, spend it however they want to, and you have no power. They don't pay you any interest on it. They oftentimes still give you service charges for the pissaniest little thing that you do wrong, 20 bucks for a three cent overdraft. No, no, take your money out of the bank, stop watching their TV shows, disconnect from the... Don't don't listen to their crap. And I'll say, uh, if you want to go to the Times, just go to the Times, but just turn the stuff out. Eat up as much... They like to do this thing where they... Ex... What do they call it? Externalize costs and internalize profits. We need to make as much cost as we can, and then suck all the profits out of them. We need to manipulate them the way they try to manipulate us. Thanks again for watching Christian Labor. Please like, subscribe, comment, click on an ad, or donate from the banner of our YouTube homepage. Thank you very much.